Hi guys, well since you've already done your homework on um, the pre-read for the speed time graph, I wanted to show you something about the difference between a distance time graph and a speed time graph, also known as a velocity time graph. Because we know that velocity and the word speed can be used interchangeably, it's just the velocity means speed and direction. The difference between a distance time graph and a velocity time graph is that a distance time graph shows how far the object traveled, while a velocity time graph shows how fast the object traveled. Now these graphs don't have any numbers to it, but let's imagine that they do. Let's say that this, um, this would be like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this would be 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters. But since this graph over here is velocity, we can imagine that this is 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. Low means low speed, high on the graph means high speed. Watch what happens when I make the car go from slow to fast. When I make the car go from slow to fast, on a distance time graph, we know that a steep line means it's going faster. On a velocity time graph, the line goes up because it's showing a lower speed and then going up, up, up in speed or in velocity. So the reason why the line did not start at zero is because this is not showing distance, this is showing speed. The car started at about, mm, let's say, 15 miles an hour, then started speeding up to 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. Watch what happens when I start the car going fast and make it go slower. Notice that the velocity time graph starts up high, showing a high speed and then the speed starts to go down. We started at maybe 50 miles an hour and then slowed it down to 40 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, and then the car ran out of space, so that's why the line stopped. On a distance time graph, you can just slightly see that the line started to curve, uh, showing that the car was slowing down. Watch what happens when I stop the car completely. On a velocity time graph, this is showing the car is going maybe 30 miles an hour, and then I stop it. Notice how the distance did not increase, but the time kept going. What happened on the velocity time graph showed that the car stopped, meaning the speed went all the way down to zero. Now, if you could still see this, the line on the x-axis would have still been going, show that time was increasing, or time was still going, but the speed was zero. Here's the last one. Watch what happens when the car goes at a constant speed. Constant speed on a distance time graph is a flat or is a straight slope, but on a velocity time graph, this is showing the car was not speeding up, slowing down, it was going the same speed, had the same velocity the entire time, meaning this car did not accelerate. It was going the same velocity, 30 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. It did not speed up or slow down. So those are the different lines and the difference between a velocity time graph and a distance time graph. Once again, a distance time graph shows you how far the object went. A velocity time graph shows you how fast the object went. Thanks for watching and thanks for doing your homework. I'll see you over the weekend.